Friday for me and my loud ass air conditioner. It is July 1st, Friday, July 1st. It's so weird because I have been trying to vlog for like the last two weeks, but to be quite honest, I have not been in a good place. And um, not let me not say not in a good place, like dramatic. I just, I've had a lot of background stuff going on. One of them being, as you can see right here, there are big boxes that are sealed up because I'm moving. I'm moving out of this apartment and I've been trying to vlog the fact that I'm moving for like two weeks now and I just get overwhelmed and I stop vlogging. So we ran into a little pest issue. And, are we crooked? We ran into a little pest issue in this apartment. There is definitely a mouse. I haven't seen it, but I have evidence that it's here. Uh, my property management is allowing me to transfer into another building free of charge. So I have to go Sunday to look at two apartments in the building that I am probably going to be transferring in because the apartment I really, really want apparently isn't available anymore, even though it wasn't supposed to be available until August 9th. So I'm assuming the person that lives in it now decided to renew their lease after all. And so they're taking it off of the market. Anyway, I have two other apartments that I really like. So I'm gonna go see those Sunday. And if I like them, I could be moving out as early as next weekend because one of them will be available next weekend and then the other is available the week after that. So at the very latest, I'll be moving out in a couple weeks. Anyway, so the boxes that you see there are uh, full of like kitchen stuff. So I've mostly gotten the kitchen packed up. I just have to pack up the rest of the dishes and that'll be done. Um, I mostly got my clothes packed up in the bedroom. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then yeah, the rest of the stuff is just big stuff that I'll have the movers move out And then you know, we're gonna start this moving process all over again Which is why I stopped with the decor content because I'm like I'm not decorating nothing else because I know it's a mouse in here I can feel it in my soul. I heard it first. I heard it. I didn't have any evidence And then I saw some evidence and I snapped a picture of it and sent it to my property management I, I, I knew it. I knew it. Anyway Something else that I um, am doing is I've been posting a lot of shorts. So whenever I post on TikTok, I've just been taking them off of TikTok and posting them um, on my shorts, like shortening them and then posting them on shorts, which I've been doing okay. They haven't been doing great. I just, I can't seem to like master any of the algorithms. Anyway, one of the recent videos that I did was a um, personal style video. I'm trying to get more into doing personal style videos again. So I posted a personal style video. I'm actually sort of doing a series of personal style videos where I talk about signature uh, looks uh, in my personal style. Like that's one of the ways that I define it is by having a signature look. Um, so the first tip that I share or the first um, signature look of mine that I shared on my TikTok was my red lip. Um, if you've been watching my channel for long enough, then you know that I'm almost always in a red lip. So I made a video where I shared my three favorite red lipsticks, which is Max Ruby Woo, um, Uncentered by Fenty Beauty, and then um, Cruella by NARS. So those are my three tried and true reds. Those are the ones that I wear all the time. And so I got a few suggestions in the comments, uh, a couple from Stila, and then like three from... Um, lip bar so i decided you know what i'm going to go buy my favorite of the three lip bar suggestions and then my favorite of the two stila suggestions and then um we'll try them out and see if we want to add them to the rotation so that's what i have here so i ended up going with boss lady by uh lip bar i had boss lady as a suggestion i had hot mess as a suggestion and i want to say the other one was hot mama and I can't remember which one, but one was too much of an orange. Yeah, no, Boy Trouble, Hot Mama, and then Boss Lady. And I ended up going with Boss Lady. One of them, I can't remember which, was too much of an orangey red, and the other one was too much of a pinky red. And um, I couldn't try it on because I got it out of Target, but based off of uh, Lip Bar's website, this one was more of like the type of red that I like, even though this package looks really burgundy. Anyway, we're going to try it on. And then um, the two Stila suggestions that I got uh, was Fiery and Beso. And I ended up going with Fiery because Beso was too much of like a burgundy red and I wanted like a true red. So I went with Fiery. And I really liked the way it looked when I swatched it on my hand. Um, so like I said, we're gonna try both of them on probably now because it's Friday. I ain't got no job until Tuesday <laughs> and I ain't got shit to do. So we gonna vlog it. Some other suggestions that I got was Cherry Blossom by Colored Rain. 
um, Crawfish by the Crayon Case. Yeah, so those are it. I got a couple other ones, but those are the ones that I just snatched out of the comments really quickly. So, let you know what, let's try this on. So let's try the lip bar first. I swear to God, y'all, every time I hear a noise, I get so fucking freaked out. I cannot wait to get out of here. Like, if y'all saw the way that I've been sleeping since all of this happened, y'all would think I'm psycho. But I literally do a full sweep of my bedroom every night. And then um, I barricade myself in the room so nothing can get through. So this is what it looks like. This is the um, liquid matte lipstick formula from the lip bar. I wanted the liquid lipstick formula, but they didn't have this color in the liquid lipstick formula. So I just went with the liquid matte lipstick. Let's see. Girl, I really need to do this off camera and then come back. Cause I'm gonna make a mess. Hold on. <laughs> Clearly not the best application. But again, this is Boss Lady by the Lip Bar in the um, Liquid Matte Lipstick Formula. It's a little darker than the reds I normally wear. But you know, I actually like this. Change is good. It's a little drying. I don't have any chapstick on under here. So I would definitely have to put some sort of like chapstick or something on my lips before um, I put this on. I'm gonna test the wear another time. But I mean, the color is pretty good girl i'm about to snatch the skin off my lip hold on. girl hold on so i went ahead and put on the fiery by Sila in the bathroom and just on first glance i like it i like it a lot it is like a red red and i'm into it i'm into it it's not as drying as the lip bar one either it was like a hate crime getting this off my face my mouth is so dry around this area from like scrubbing my face so that lets me know that it's gonna stay on there but anyway this is the stila stay all day liquid lipstick again it's in the color fiery and this is my favorite of the two um just right off the top so yeah anyway i have to finish making my zigzag now oh let me show y'all the bedroom and where we are with packing that so here's where we are with the room so i have my infamous blue bags they are now filled up or being filled up so i've cleared most of these two clothing racks off um i moved those shoes out of the closet um because i cleared the closet out as well and just put them here so i can throw them in the little baskets to carry out when it's time um to leave i'm gonna put those hangers in one of those bags as well so i just literally need to uh pack up my jeans into a bag and then my workout clothes out of that and then i'll just grab my coats and throw them in a car when it's time to go and then i have just my underwear and stuff in this dresser and that's literally all of my clothes so i've been working girl i've been working so the plan for the move is i'm going to move a lot of stuff myself right um a lot of the small stuff myself so i'm going to either borrow my friend's jeep or my friend's suv or i may even just rent a suv myself uh, I'm going to carry like these bags of clothing, um, my kitchen chairs I can put in the back seat of a car, um, my, um, my coffee tables, stuff like that I can actually put in a car and carry myself because it's not heavy. Um, so I don't have to have the movers to carry all of like my little stuff um kitchen boxes the boxes with the kitchen stuff in it like that stuff i'm just going to move myself maybe i'll recruit a couple of my friends to help me and then when the movers come they literally just have to move the big stuff this dresser my bed my couch my kitchen table right and so it won't take them um long at all and hopefully that cuts down on some of the cost of it because moving is expensive and i just did this and i have to do it all over again so yeah anyway that's my plan i am going to finish my tiktok business and i'll talk to y'all tomorrow Ooh, i'll talk to y'all tomorrow and sunday and monday because it's a extended weekend because fourth of july even though we're not really celebrating the fourth of july because the united states don't deserve a birthday but we're gonna ex we're gonna celebrate the extended weekend so i have plans and i'm gonna take y'all along with me so y'all so i am sitting in my room because i was in like the dining area and I was filming a TikTok and I heard a, I heard a squeak. I don't know if I'm tripping and I'm just starting to get like super paranoid because it's close to like finding somewhere else to move and my mind playing tricks on me but I heard a squeak. When I tell y'all I ran so quick in this damn room because I know it's there but like if I see a mouse I'm gonna lose my shit. 
Like, I'm telling y'all right now. Oh, anyway, I figured since I'm like holed up in my room, <laughs> because I'm scared to go out there, I would give y'all a little post, like one month, I think we're like right at a month, maybe, yeah, right at a month, um, post relaxer update. I just did like a TikTok on it. That's what I was trying to film in the lighting in there. That shit, mm -mm. Anyway, so I've had a relaxer for about a month. Now I just washed it, conditioned it, blow dried it out, and I only flat ironed the ends of it because when I was relaxing my hair, I put it um, at the uh, roots first, of course, and then you know you're supposed to like comb it down. You're not supposed to actually relax the ends of your hair. Well, y'all know I have scalp psoriasis, so my scalp is really sensitive. So maybe I that relaxer could only sit on my scalp for like mm, seven minutes, and I had to wash it out. So this part of my hair. You know the relaxer didn't get to penetrate it so it's still like curly it's gone from like it's 4c curl to like a 4b maybe a 4a in some areas um so when i relax it again maybe in another two months or so i gotta try to let it sit on this part of my hair longer so i don't have like it looks like i'm growing out natural hair but like in the reverse it's so weird anyway so this is me um a month post so when I first relaxed my hair y'all I was a little worried I was like oh I fucked up because so much hair was coming out and it's still shedding and I don't know if it's like just the natural dead hair because I wash my hair once every week but it's still shedding but it's it's thickening up but it's it's shedding so much so I'm like oh my god I don't know if it's because I had the two different textures and the heavier texture my curls are on the bottom and so it's putting a lot of strain on it and it's breaking off I don't know but like it looks pretty healthy um so i am literally trying to nurse my hair back to health the reason that i decided to relax my hair in the first place is because i was not taking care of it in its natural state and i've been natural i was natural for six years went back and got relaxed natural for six years and then just relaxed again so i'm not new to it i'm true to it and i know that if i don't take care of my hair my scalp psoriasis goes nuts so for like the last month or so before i decided to relax my hair i had sore after sore after sore and when i get sores and i get the scraping the scabs out the hair come out with it so my hair had gotten so thin in the crown where it's already naturally thin um because as i've told in a story time on here before um i had such a bad scalp psoriasis uh breakout when i was like 10 in like the sixth grade that i lost all of my hair in the crown from here to here and when it grew back it just grew back really fine so i have been you know massive a super thin crown since I was 10 years old right um and there is you can't there is no hair rolls hair thickening anything that you can suggest to me um that I have not tried it's the follicles are or they're not it's not growing back right so we just work with what we have anyway long story short I had not been taking care of my hair so I was like struggling with my psoriasis I also have skin lupus um and sometimes that uh, I get breakouts from that around the perimeter so I'm losing my crown I'm losing my edges and I'm not taking care of my hair so I'm like if I relax it it'll be easier to wash and detangle and all of that stuff and I'm more likely to keep up with like a weekly routine cleaning my scalp and all that and so far over these last 30 days I've washed my hair every week like clockwork deep conditioned it um made sure that my um, hair was moisturized my scalp was moisturized so I've been doing so well by it and it is it is flourishing like it is doing so well it looks so much better than it did when I first relaxed it I told y'all I was like oh I might have fucked up right but it is it is it's on its way so much so that this part is um the relaxer I didn't put a lot of relaxer on here I tried to avoid this part but I did put some and so it was like it's already thin but it was like really fine it's thickening up to where it's probably going to thicken up to and I feel comfortable enough where I can actually clip some clip-ins in it and you know use my little topics the little hair fibers and i use that to fill in you know where it's thin and then i can wear my hair down with like some clip-ins and stuff like that so so far i am extremely happy with my relaxed hair i'm glad that i decided to do it and i thought i'd give y'all an update since i am literally stuck in this room y'all just pray that i like these apartments tomorrow because i ain't gonna make it much longer i'm about to i'm about to I'm about to lose my goddamn mind. So it's right at 7 p.m. Our reservation is at 7.30. So I actually need to be calling um, an Uber. But I was going to try to show y'all what I'm wearing. But one, the lighting is bad. And two, I don't have nothing to prop y'all up on. But let's let's try it. Hold on. Let's put y'all right here. Y'all might have to see it. 
in pieces. Y'all have to see it in pieces. It's a mess in here. I ain't, I ain't even finna try to clean up. Y'all know what's happening. So anyway, I decided to go super casual, but you know, I like to elevate it a little bit. So um, I'm wearing this Vetma. This is that Vetma mini dress. Um, I'm wearing it as a shirt today. One, because it was what was on top of the bag that's packed. And two, I've always known that I was gonna wear it as a shirt. So like now's the time. Um, and then my pants are just a pair of Abercrombie, uh, Abercrombie, Abercrombie, um, a pair of Abercrombie, just uh, oversized like dad sound jeans. Um, and then on my feet, I'm wearing those Song of Style mules with that cutout. So that um, Kate dupe that I got um, and I wore in Miami for my birthday. And then I'm just carrying my, girl, this bag is so annoying. It comes a loose all the friggin' time. I'm gonna lose this thing one day and I'm gonna be pissed. Whew. Anyway, um, my Givenchy Mini Anagona, and I'm just gonna throw on these Free People shades. Cause we still got a little bit of sunlight. So that's what I'm working with, girl. Ooh, okay. Editing Angela here. I had to re-record the voiceover on this because it has music and we don't want copyright issues. Anyway, we started off at Nobu with edamame and drinks. The light was popping so everybody is getting selfies and whatnot. You have to have to get the yellowtail uh, jalapeno. It's my absolute favorite there. That's two orders. We had to order another one because I ate like eight pieces of that myself. Rock shrimp, also really delicious. Ordered another order of that. I'm obsessed with the salmon tartare. That's caviar on top of it. It's in a wasabi sauce so it will blow your muffin cap back but it's delicious. This is an assortment of tacos i personally ate four of the ribeye tacos that's me so caught which was also really good um and then we also got this uh black bean sea bass which was also really good um that's the rest of that rock shrimp we ordered baby damage damage and then i wanted some ice cream because i love jenny's ice cream and it's right there in the west loop every time i go out here to eat i stop at jenny's and get some ice cream and then this is just a picture of me being really happy with my ice cream also it's really cute i'm gonna post that so it's the next day as you can see i look a little bit different um you should have seen a clip from like my tiktok of dinner at nobu last night it's about mm, right at 11 o'clock a.m um my friends and i are having a barbecue today so um i'm pretty much dressed for the barbecue um i just need to stop at target i'm responsible for condiments and chips and dip and then I have to meet with um, my property, somebody from my property management to look at a couple of apartments today. Um, I wanted to show y'all what I'm wearing because it's chill, it's just friends. So, you know, I don't want to be do too much and I'm not actually going to get in the pool, but I want to look like I'm at the pool. So I just have on this like baby crop tee from Target. This cover up I got recently from Boohoo. I just have on a pair of black bikini bottoms. They're a thong, so I have to keep that cover up on so you know my booty ain't all out in front of my homeboys and you know my friends and you know people at the apartment complex and all that and then as you saw I have on just my populism and shades and then on my feet I'm just wearing a pair of flip-flops but I'm about to change out of this um well I'm gonna keep my swimsuit bottom on but I'm gonna take this off um and put some jeans on so I can go to Target and like look at the apartment but I'm gonna leave this on all of that out too because I'm not it's too hot to wear a bra you said you better not be entertaining those other niggas. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> close the kitchen off they could have left this whole wall off it just put all of the cabinets along here so it could have been open but that's fine that's cool refrigerator i don't know about dining table <laughs> that would be the 
I figured it out, bro. Probably take the fridge. Move it here. here. Yeah, move the fridge here and then like put the there. diamond stuff in. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, then. I don't even have enough stuff for all these closets. That's a lot of closet space. Okay. Bathroom. Okay, yeah, I like this one. Closet, closet. Okay, bedroom is smaller. Bathroom. Exactly the same. Mm, closet, ew. Okay, I like this one too. Okay, so welcome back to present day. So you should have seen before this, um, me at the barbecue, some of the clips were like standard camera clips and then the other was clips that I had on my phone and then clips from me looking at um, apartments on my phone as well. So sorry that looks kind of janky. Um, but look, my phone is so out of storage. Like I need a new phone. I need to get a phone with more storage because my iCloud isn't out of storage. I actually bought more iCloud space. My phone is out of storage and it's the apps. It's really the apps um, that's eating up all the space. I need to get a new phone. I just don't want to because ain't nothing wrong with the one I got. And I just do not like buying new phones and stuff when I don't need one. But I guess technically I do need one. Anyway, that's not what I came on here for. The two apartments that you saw are two apartments in the same building. They're not even the original apartments that I went to look at. So what happened um, was I had three apartments in mind. Um, again, I'm transferring. I'm still with the same property management um companies but i'm transferring buildings and so they're allowing me to do that free of charge because you know a transfer typically costs um but they aren't charging me to do a transfer um i just have to find an apartment and then if it costs more than what i'm staying in now then i do have to reapply because they have to reassess your income um but i get to just move into the apartment um that i choose so i had three apartments in mind um one I, i'm ashy y'all i got a shower and did not put on lotion there was one apartment that i really wanted it was not um due to come available until august 9th um so i was going to try to wait until like mid july to look at that apartment um and then just tough it out until the end of the month here so i could like snatch that one up apparently i thought the person decided not to move but Lisa agent yesterday told me that a person literally like an international student for the university um actually rented it sight unseen um while the person was still like in their freaking lease so they leased it already for when this person moves out at the end of the month sight unseen so lost it on that one the good thing about that is that it had an in-unit washer and dryer um and it had a balcony and i just liked the location and so i was hoping to get into that one and it's a little cheaper than the one that i ultimately decided on but whatever so then i had two others on um my list and y'all when i tell you like the location is like the perfect location i would love to live right there um literally i can step out the door and go to starbucks like get out the door like step out my door and go to starbucks um but baby i went in there i went in the first one first of all it wasn't emptied out like the person was still moving out and she had a cat it stank so bad and i'm like bro i can't even walk through here because it smells so bad or whatever so i'm literally walking through the apartment with my hand on my nose it's no updated finishes, no updated anything. And I just was like, you know, that that's not gonna work for me. So, you know, I am willing to compromise on certain things. Like I would love an in-unit wash and dryer, but as long as the building has an in-building in like communal space where I can wash and don't have to leave the building to do laundry, then I'm okay to compromise on um, in-unit laundry. What I'm not compromising on is updated flooring and appliances and finishes. Like, no, not at this big age, at this point in my life. It got to, y'all got to update this a little bit. So, I thought so the first one, I was like, you don't even need to show me the second one. I don't like either one of them or whatever. And so, I started to get a little worried because I didn't really see anything else that I liked. I did, but I didn't. So I just asked the Lisa agent, he was a young black guy. I'm like, look, just keep it 100 with me, right? Because we know that I'm moving because there was a pest issue in the building that I'm in. And I know that's not something that y'all can control, especially because in this area, there are a bunch of restaurants and Chicago just has a uh, mouse rat problem as well. You know, just like um, 
New York and I'm like I know it's not something that you can control but like can you think of a building where y'all have a one bedroom with the specs that I'm looking for available um that you think would be up to my standard at this point you helped me find the one that I'm in you're helping me now so you kind of know what I'm looking for you know you know what I'm what I'm wanting to spend I'm I'm willing to go a little above that for you know comfortability at this point um and so he told me a building he was like there are apartments available in the building that i think you'd like so he took me and we looked at four apartments in one building and then i ended up settling on the two that i showed you in the previous clip and then ultimately i chose the first um one that you saw so it's larger so it's about 691 square feet um updated appliances updated finishes it's literally ready to move in even though i probably won't move in until the last week of the month just to make it easy for like rent and payment purposes and all that i didn't feel like going through having to prorate this and then prorate that like girl i'll move maybe a week early so i'll pay a small proration for the month of um july for that new place um but yeah updated finishes it has so much storage so literally this storage situation that i've created for this apartment i'm like girl what you gonna do with this stuff i'm gonna figure out how to use stuff because i spend money on it um but it has so much storage in it um it gets really good lighting and it just it felt good um and i'm trusting him that i'm not gonna get in there and be in the same predicament the one thing i will say is that i'm not a huge fan of the building like on the outside it looks nice I'm a, it's not terrible but like all of these buildings are old they used to be like old hotels or just like random buildings or whatever this will look like it used to be a college dorm that's what it looks like it looks like it used to be a college dorm and they converted some of the rooms into apartments i don't know it gives me very like hogwarts school like place vibes like even the stairwells look like stairwells that are in like schools that were like in my high school um there are elevators in the building there are two oh, they so small i'm like why are the elevators so small but there are two working elevators in the building because it's quite a few floors in the building um even though i would be on um the lower end of the building like the second floor so yeah anyway that is what's going on with the apartment i will obviously keep y'all updated i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um and just chill out lay around do nothing um for the rest of the day so anyway if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i appreciate it please make sure that you're following me on both tiktok and instagram the handles are in um the description below and i will talk to y'all in the next video bye